Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel and welcome back to another video. So today guys we are going on a hike. Yes, a hike. And we're camping and I have my best buddy with me, Jets. This phone's a little wonky and um, I can't make videos like I was making in the past on my channel. But the reason why is because um, my storage is kind of messed up on my phone and I just really haven't taken the time to fix it. But when I do, it's gonna be fabulous. But in the meantime, we're just solo in it. So, um, Today's topic is going to be about fasting and the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I'm fasting and it says in the Bible you're not supposed to tell people you're fasting so just an FYI but I'm telling you guys and I'm going to post this video later so nobody will really know that I'm fasting until after the fast is done because I don't plan on going on a really long fast. It's just going to be like a probably two day fast. But I, what I'm doing this time is a little different. Here, I can get back this way. Hold on. I, it's okay. Is he on a short leash? Yeah. Okay. Here, I can get. Hold on. I can get up here. Jet. Jet is really friendly too, but still, we'll probably never get them away from each other. Okay, I got him set. If you want to come through. Okay. She just gets excited. Did you go to the top? Yeah, we went all the way to the waterfall. Wow, so you took him. Oh, Jet, 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 Jet. No, come back. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I just didn't want him no, her to good. be overwhelmed. Well, I hope you have a great day. Oh, sorry. I didn't know there were more people. Jet, here. Sit. Sit, Jet. He's really well behaved. Jet, you remember. Jet, sit. Sit. Jet. The other dog that yeah. just I don't know, we didn't give her a chance to. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Okay, so um meanwhile back at the ranch, fasting. And the reason why I decided to go on a fast was because I was just feeling it. I was feeling that my body really needed it and I've been really busy and I've been eating a lot and food with me is kind of strange because I have to eat by myself because nobody likes raw food and everybody likes to go out to eat at um, fast food restaurants and stuff like that and you know they're always wanting to go out to eat not necessarily at fast food restaurants but they're always wanting to go out to eat and so I don't really like going with them because it's kind of um, it's it's too tempting every time I just say oh I'm just gonna go out to eat with them it always ends up in, oh, I'm just going to get something that's going to upset my stomach and make me feel really bad the next day. And then it kind of goes on this. I just, I just don't want to dibble dabble. I don't even want to give it a chance. Like there's no point in it. I'm really being selfish when it comes to that because it's, it always starts out good. Like I'm always like, oh yeah. We'll go out to eat and I get a salad and I do really good. And then 
I'll go out to eat again with them and I'll get a salad and everything will be good. And then the next thing I know, they're wanting to go out to eat too much. I lose my cool and I get something that I don't need to get. And it, it never fails. Like I always trick myself into doing the thing that I shouldn't. And, uh, you know, it's deception. It's the devil. He loves to sneak around and prowl on upon our psychology and our brains when we're least expecting it. And we feed into it. And the next thing we know, blam, we're in trouble. So that's why um, I eat by myself mostly. Because um, by the time I fix my family dinner, it's just really too much trouble for me to fix mine with our schedules and we're on different schedules. I just make their food up. I make mine up. We eat when we feel like it. We're at that phase. My youngest son is 18 years old. So go figure. We're just kind of like all doing our own things and that's cool. I like it like that. And I've been, as a matter of fact, been a lot healthier because when you start combining all those foods and all of those things, it just gets really ridiculous and monotonous. And you find yourself eating at the Waffle House, eating a waffle with a pecan waffle, you know, just something stupid that you know is going to cause dire consequences. And yeah, I could eat a waffle every once in a while, but I don't want to. I don't even want to dibble dabble in that because um, I just don't. And um, because my diet is really extreme, it's a raw food, vegan diet. I eat soaked uh, and sprouted seeds and nuts and I just don't deviate away from that anymore. I mean, occasionally I might, but it's only like, just like rare, okay? So, that being said, I do a lot of juicing, mostly juicing now. I'm really into the juices and like guys, you all know I've made a ton of juicing videos and I, that's primarily my diet is juicing. So back to the fast, what kind of fast am I doing? I watched some videos last night on biblical fasting and I know I look really tired right now, but I am, I'm really tired. I'm just going to be honest. It's because, well, I've had some unusual experiences on my camping trip of no sleep last night and rain and stuff like that, but it's all good. So the fast that I'm doing right now is it's kind of like a Daniel fast, but it's kind of like the Jewish fast because I'm going to eat after or the Ramadan fast where they eat after uh, nighttime. So basically during the day, what I was struggling with was what I'm going to call it. And I know I don't want people to take it the wrong way, but food demons, like I was becoming a little, I don't know, obsessive compulsive about eating by myself. You know, you can see how that would happen. So I felt like God needed to be more of the focus of my eating. So now throughout the day, like all day yesterday and today, uh, when I'm hungry, like I am right now, I'm hungry. I am thinking about God and because I'm doing this for God, I'm, I'm doing this to be filled more of God's spirit and, um, to be, uh, put this out a little bit, see how that works. Um, yeah, because I want to be filled with God's Spirit. And um, so that's that's why I'm doing that. And this is beautiful out here. I'm going to show you this uh, waterfall coming up. This place is amazing. Here's Jet. I don't know if you can see him. 
but he's my best friend. It's Jet. He's wonderful. There's, oh, there's my spot. I forgot that's where it was. My favorite spot where I like to sit down and read. So I think I will. I'm gonna sit down and read and meditate here and let Jet play in the water. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you about the fast. So that's what fast I decided to do is eat after night and I'm just gonna eat one meal. And it may, it may be juice if I feel like it with my meal or it might just be fruit. Like last night I did fruit, I did mango, banana, and um, mango, banana, and um, some coconut yogurt I had left over and I had a watermelon. That was my dinner and I didn't juice uh, just because I was camping. And I had camped the day before, I had juiced the day before and it was a little stressful. Um, and I just thought, well, I don't wanna do that again. So this time I am going to, um, He's having so much fun. What are you doing, Jet? Are you catching something? Oh, he's catching a fish. It's a, a fish leash. <laughs> he pretends, it's so cute. He, like when I'm throwing the frisbee at him, he pretends like he's going to get the um, a duck or something. He acts like it, I can tell. Look at him. And he looks at me. Look, he's acting like he's fishing. Are you catching a fish? Are you catching a fish? I believe this dog could definitely catch me a fish if there were fish in here, but there's not. I haven't seen any. But, um, so that's the plan. I'm going to fast all day, break my fast at night, and uh, I have a friend that actually lives in the Middle East right now, and he did the Ramadan, Ramadan fast, and he was trying to encourage everybody to go on the fast, and um, I didn't, but he was telling us how they do the fast, and they do the fast by uh, waiting till after midnight, or after dark, and they fast all day. They can't eat any, and they they say that they're like getting rid of the demon or whatever. And that's what I know. Like I've there's like some demons that are just yeah, they're real, and they're messing with me. And so I'm fasting them away. Um, and they're not necessarily in me but there are other people around me that are um, putting that negative energy off in, onto me. And you know, I just, I really don't want to partake in that. So I'm fasting and um, so I'm going to do the, the uh, and Jesus did that. Like he, he talks clearly about the fast, fasting. And this is a necklace that my friend gave me, and it says, um, it's uh, Jeremiah, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to, de declares the Lord, uh, plans to prosper you, and I, I can't think of anything, I can't read the rest of it because it's like all swirled around there and I'd have to take it off my neck, but you get the picture. Um, so, yeah, I'm sitting on moss right now. Isn't that beautiful? It really is, it's so pretty out here.
Like this is a great place to meditate and read and just relax. Like I've been out here for, um, I originally was going to come out here for four days and I added one more day. So that's five. And then I added two more. So I kind of like came out here and didn't want to leave. And my husband's kind of like, oh, uh, where's my wife? <laughs> And I'm kind of like, I'll be home before Friday. So it's been real, to say the least. And I'm definitely going to do this again. And it's just absolutely amazing. It's just so beautiful out here. I really feel like I'm in paradise. And I don't want to go. And I don't want to leave. Um... But I feel like this is where I belong. Like, it's so easy to fast out here, too. It really is. Like, it's easier to fast. Be careful, Jep. <laughs> You're all wet. He's going to come over here and shake on me. But, uh, so, tonight, when I do my fast, I'm going to, um... I'm going to, uh, to when the sun goes down, I'm going to break that fast like they do in the Middle East. And I'm going to just eat after dark. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to overeat either. I'm just going to eat enough to fill my stomach and really pray while I'm eating. That's another thing. So throughout the day when I'm not eating, I'm worshiping God, singing songs of praise to the Lord. Um, and then before I eat, I sing three songs of praise and worship to the Lord. I just pick out something on YouTube and, you know, one of my favorite uh, contemporary Christian songs and, and then, um, and like pray, read the Bible and stuff like that. So it's just, yeah, I'm feasting on God. That's what I'm doing. I'm feasting on God and His Word. And so I'm going to try to finish up the hike doing that, doing up the camping trip doing this because, um, and it may, it'll probably deviate into um, when I go home just because um, I feel like I need to to do some cleansing on myself and in my life and just so yeah that's what I'm doing guys and I just thought I would make a video about that and share it with you um, and encourage you to go on a fast uh, do do some fasting do a Daniel fast watch some videos on YouTube about fasting and um, get out in nature because ah, there's nothing like breathing this beautiful fresh air. Are you okay, Jet? Are you okay? You got choked. Did you get choked? He's a little bear. He's my little bear. I love him. Oh, I think he got. I think he got a stick in there. <laughs> So, I uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions about uh, what I'm doing now or anything you want me to make a video on, let me know. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.